Good morning and welcome to another video. So this video has been highly requested on Instagram, on YouTube. It's how I balance my weight training, my resistance training, and running. So I'll kind of break down some of the things that I do on a regular basis to balance both of those. Now this morning, I've been up for an hour. Uh, I woke up at like 5 a.m. this morning. It is 6 a.m. now. I'm about to go for a run. I have a seven mile run on the schedule today. Sometimes I will run in the morning. Sometimes I will run in the evening, like before my weight training session, or sometimes it's just a run day. Um, but if I do run in the morning, like today, it's typically fasted. 99% of the time it's fasted. So I didn't eat anything yet. I just drank coffee, mainly so that I could go to the bathroom before going on a run. Because I hate going on a morning run if I didn't go to the bathroom yet. It's just like, it doesn't feel right. So about to go on the seven mile run. We'll come back, eat breakfast, all that jazz, and then we'll get into the day and I'll break down how I balance both of resistance training and running. So I'll see you guys soon. Solid morning run, seven miles, 720 minute per mile pace, completed in 51 minutes, 18 seconds. Think about that run. There were like swarms, swarms of gnats everywhere. I don't know if you can see, it's all over my chest, probably all over my face. I'm probably covered like honestly, say 200 gnats. They were everywhere. So one of the things that I do like on that last mile of my run, especially if it's in the mornings, I start thinking of the next things I have to do within like that hour after I finish the run. I just start prioritizing like the tasks I have to do as soon as I'm done running. So that just, I'm more, I'm more efficient when I get back. So like when I was running that last mile, I was thinking, okay, for lunch, I have meat prepped. I don't have any carbs prepped. So as soon as I get in the house, I have to throw rice in the rice cooker, hop in the shower, and then I can make my lunch for the day. So here's lunch for the day. I have, uh, this is just like some pre-made, I threw uh, a beef roast from that, uh, that meat we got from the local Georgetown rancher a few weeks ago. We actually pick up another half steer in like nine days. So I have eight ounces of that and then I prepped rice this morning. So I have uh, lunch for the afternoon. But it's just one way to think about it. Like as you're finishing up something, start prioritizing and planning what you have to do next so you can just be efficient. So that's the way I run my day and my mornings. So now that we're in the office, let's talk balancing weight training and running, kind of what I'm doing right now, what I plan to do, and how it works for me. Now before we dive into this, I figured it would make more sense to give some context to my current situation. And a lot of you guys know this that follow my channel. I am training to qualify for the Boston Marathon, a sub three hour marathon. That is my goal right now. However, there are no races in sight. All races were canceled. So when we had a race on the schedule, the main priority was training to qualify for Boston, sub three hour marathon. And lifting was secondary. However, now that races are canceled, no races in sight, I was able to bring an emphasis back on resistance training, weight training, into my schedule where there's a balance of the two now. Once races are back on and we have a, a, a race in sight, well, the main priority will be training to qualify for Boston, running. But for the time being, I can have a really nice balance of, of lifting weights, body weight workouts, and running. So before we dive into it, I wanted to, to preface that. That is my current state situation right now, and that's how I've developed this balance. So number one is prioritizing based off your goals. And we're gonna set it like, like this balance scale right here. Now think of it this way. This is weight training, this is running, and endurance training. Now, depending on how big your goal is, like for me, running sub three hour marathon, I have a lot of work to do still, uh, and that's my, my focus. I'm gonna put a priority to running over weight training. So the scale's gonna look at this. Maybe you wanna be like a hybrid athlete where you're, you're just proficient at both and it's sitting equal. You're putting equal emphasis to priority of both. Maybe you still wanna be able to run, but your goal, your main priority goal is, is lifting and getting stronger. And the scale looks, looks like this for you. So you have to find what your priority 
of goals are and how hard that goal is based on where you are right now. Now, I'll just talk about like kind of like my situation of, of how I set up training. Like you saw today, I ran this morning so I could give max effort to that run. And this afternoon, I will be hitting the weights, I'll be hitting the gym, and it'll be secondary. Now, I can give max effort to that run in the morning. Now, if I do both in the evening, I personally, I always run first, and then I lift. So I've been getting that question a lot, like, what should you do first? Well, it's based off of the priority of your goals. For me, I wanna give max effort and apply max energy to that run, so I place it first, and then I'll go into my lifting session, which is my secondary goal in, in terms of priorities. And, and like personally, and the reason I do that, one, like I said, I wanna give max energy to that run. Two, I don't really like running uh, with a pump. It's just, it feels ineffective, inefficient to like my form and what I'm working towards. So I always do the run first, I lift afterwards, and the lift always still feels really good, but I place that run first. So you have to decide, like. What's your priority in training and what are your goals, how hard those goals are, and then set up your training that way. So now I'm gonna break down like what a sample week might look like. Uh, and this, this sample week right now has 44.5 miles of running. So because there's no marathon in sight right now, my coach actually pulled my mileage back a little bit, increased the intensity. Um, the one thing I wanna talk about is auto-regulating your workouts. So just because something's on a schedule or your calendar for training that day, you should auto-regulate workouts based off how you feel and provide an effort for that workout based off how you're recovering, how you're feeling from previous workouts going into that workout. So this sample right here, say like Monday, it's a seven mile easy run. And I'll also do a core and push workout. Push being like chest, triceps. Uh, Tuesday, seven mile easy run again. And when I say easy run, it's just like a moderate pace workout. I'm not doing anything crazy. Like for me right now, it's holding like a, between a 720 and an eight minute per mile pace. Uh, and that would be like a core and body weight workout. Body weight being like dips, push ups, pull ups, um, so some muscle ups, anything just body weight wise. Wednesday, off from running, but a, a pull day and accessory day. So like back, biceps, and if I want to do some core, I can throw that in. If I want to throw some, uh, some shoulder accessory, I can sh throw that in there. Thursday, seven miles, but interval workout. So intervals maybe being like 800 meter repeats, 200 meter repeats, 300 meter repeats, and a core and push workout again. Friday, seven mile easy run with a pool and accessory day. Saturday, six mile easy run in preparation for Sunday's longer run. Uh, and I like doing a core and body weight workout tied into my Saturday workout because on Sunday for a long workout, I don't want to be like sore upper body that's dragging me down. And then Sunday to be my longer, my longer workouts. This is a workout I recently did, 10.5 mile threshold. So it was like a two mile, warm, or it was like a three mile warm up, three mile cool down. But in between there was like mile repeats at threshold. And that threshold, I believe was like a 615 minute per mile pace. And that will be an off day from lifting or training in the gym. So that's like a sample week of what I'm currently doing to balance resistance and running. Okay, so about to grab a workout. As you guys saw on the, the previous screen, today is a pull and accessory day. Probably do some core. So I'm gonna do one scoop of flight. I'm gonna do a strawberry kiwi flavor. I'm gonna mix that with one scoop of endo pump, our new release flavor sour watermelon. So pre-workout stack right here. And then during my training session, I'm gonna sip on uh, one serving of Interflight watermelon flavor. So these are the workout subs right here. So let me walk you guys through tonight's workout. Uh, it's gonna be four supersets. The first superset, we're gonna start with some core. We're gonna do hanging leg raises and cable crunches superset. So you're gonna do 15 hanging leg raises, 10 cable crunches, rest about 45 seconds in between three sets. Uh, second superset, pull-ups for an AMRAP, as many reps as possible, and then lat pull-downs for 10 reps. We're gonna do that for four sets, again, about 45 seconds in between, 45 seconds to a minute. Uh, set three, low, uh, low cable rows, 10 reps plus a hold 
on the contraction for about say 10 to 15 seconds and then superset it with neutral grip pull-ups for an AMRAP, three sets of that. And the fourth is gonna be three movements, TRX, bicep curls times 10, hammer curls times 10, and then push-ups times 25. You can do four of those total. So that's the workout. Give me a second, I'm trying to select the appropriate weapon. Uh, watch where you stepping, them snakes all around, you know they connected. Uh, when I was a kid, my grandmama told me I can't go to heaven. So I stopped praying and asking for blessings and started preparing for my I'm a get it. Got nothing to lose, I'm all in. Walking the edge, don't fall in. Enough of the lies, don't apologize. I don't understand, are you foreign? This is the place, this is the site. Grab all your people and log in. I'm waiting, don't care how long it's gonna take. Watching and waiting for that first mistake. Don't come up missing. Don't get it twisted. I'm not Rihanna, but boy, you a gunner. You right on my hit list. Keeping my distance. Just checking the list. I'm always aware if you come with position. I just hold out to the perfect condition. Coming along. Okay, guys, so the last set of the workout it is a, it's like a super set. It's a giant set, if you will. Um, so it is 10 bicep curl TRX bands directly into 10 hammer curls, 10 each side directly into 25 push-ups. It was four sets of this, so one right into the other. Twenty-five. That's the workout. Hey, Rem. Hey, Rod. Hey, pups. Hey, pups. Come on. Let's go. All right, guys. So here is a Remy update. Remy's growing ridiculously fast. I think she's like doubled in size since we got her a few weeks ago. And Ryder is like her best friend of all time. They're constantly on top of each other. You being a good girl. You being a good girl. So we got Remy. Remy's a golden doodle. And Ryder. Ryder's a labradoodle. Ryder's two years old and Remy's, what's Remy, like 11 weeks now? So it's Friday night, home for the night, home from work. We have a lot of things we're working on at the warehouse right now with our expansion which in the next video, I'll break down a little bit more and show you guys. Like for example, today we've been getting, or the, the offices were getting painted. Um, we have all of our new desks in there. Our security system got installed in the new expansion of the warehouse. We, uh, we get internet next week. So next week we're gonna move all the offices over to our new unit and into the expansion. So it's gonna be pretty sweet and I'll show you guys that. But I wanna wrap up this video with pointing out a few more things in regards to balancing training for endurance and strength and size, like resistance training in the gym. Um, the one thing to point out, it is scheduling. Like building a schedule for yourself that allows you to train both. Obviously, if you're gonna be training for endurance and in the gym, well that might take two hours, an hour dedicated to both. So you might have to wake up at like, four in order to be running by 435 
to be back in time for your normal schedule for the day. Uh, so if I know I'm gonna be crammed in that afternoon, well, I'll front load my endurance training in the morning to hit resistance training in the evening. Um, so that's something like really important is a lot of people can't fit both, both in because they don't allocate time for their schedule uh, for, for both types of training. So that's number one. Number two, reemphasize the fact that you have to prioritize your goals for whatever you're training for and how hard that is or how, how much progress you need to make in order to accomplish that goal and put emphasis on the priority of that training. And the last that I really wanna highlight, I've touched on already, is it's auto-regulation. So auto-regulation essentially is changing your workouts based off of feel tracking your progress, being aware of your body and how you're recovering, how your training's going, uh, tracking your heart rate, tracking your sleep, and just how you're going into each and every workout. So I talk to my coach every day, he asks me how I'm feeling, and he'll change workouts based off of how I'm feeling, how I'm recovering. But you can auto-regulate your workouts yourself. And for example, if your priority is endurance training, well, when it's time to train resistance, maybe take a few days off, or, or take it easy and just do body weight stuff instead of weights to so change your workouts up based off of how you are feeling. Be aware of your body and how you're recovering. That's gonna make the biggest difference. So I hope these tips helped you guys in this video. I know a lot of people that are following me are, are training for both endurance and strength and size and conditioning. And you can do both. It's just finding what works for you, fitting into your schedule, building a schedule and being aware of your body. So take those tips, apply them. We'll see you guys in the next video and as always, Go one more.